Hey everybody, what's up? It's TJ. You guys, we are making meatloaf, just regular old meatloaf with hamburger meat. And let's get started. So I have about five pounds of hamburger meat here. I am freezing it so we can, and, and it will be in individual servings. You guys, when you do that, it lasts, it goes further. Okay, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a few minutes. Let's do this first. Okay, so five pounds of hamburger meat. I'm gonna do about a quarter of a cup of barbecue sauce, any flavor you want. Liquid aminos. This is an alternative to soy sauce. This is all natural, it's organic. You can use regular soy sauce if you want. About an eighth of a cup. You don't want too much of that, okay? Too much will kill it. And about, let's see. I'm trying to get it out of there. half a cup of ketchup. Mine's or you know, no preservatives and all that stuff. Here's the tricky part. Okay. My husband and my boys do not like hunks of onion and bell pepper. So, this is my alternative to that. I need to get this out of here first, huh? Okay. Let me rinse this. It's got a seed in it. I've already washed it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a little piece off. Save this for me for later because I'm the bell pepper lover. And I'm just gonna grate it really little. They won't even know it's in there. Oh no, Tony, you won't like that. Well, cut another piece off. I dropped a big hunk of that. That's good enough. It's not much, okay? But when I get get it mixed in there, it'll blend right in. They won't even know it's there, okay? They'll just be like, oh, this tastes so much better. Gee, I wonder why. Same thing with the onion. Well... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on a paper towel, get some of that juice off. Yes, it does make a mess, but that's okay. 
Let me get another paper towel. Just soak some of it up. Look at that. I know some of y'all know exactly what this is like. They just don't like those big hunks of cooked onion. My husband likes them raw. He doesn't like them cooked. My oldest son is the complete opposite. So, yeah. Put three eggs. Gosh, I forgot to get my pepper out, y'all. Gotta have pepper. That's the most important part. Let me grab it. I'm gonna put about a good tablespoon of pepper. Opens weird. Just regular old salt tin cracker. And it's gonna take about two sleeves. this in my garden, so I'm going to just slide that to the side. <clears throat> I take stuff like this, leftover vegetables, you know, cuts and eggs and stuff like that, and I just bury it in my soil outside in my tin container I have. I don't know what you call it. It's like a tub. But anywho, so this is ready to be mixed. But before I do that, I'm gonna grab a couple of these tins. I'll probably be use that. I'm not sure. Let me get another some more. These are extra large muffin tins, okay? You see how big those are? Those are big. It's much bigger than a regular cupcake pan. One of these is a serving size. I'm telling y'all, you can make your food go a lot further if you do stuff like this. Now, I'm going to take... Let me get my other olive oil. It's got more in it. I'm going to take a little bit and pour a little bit in each cup or each pan. Rather, grab another paper towel, and I'm just gonna just put it in it. Just like that. Now you guys can't even see that. Good Lord, I'm terrible. I know. So I got it in this one tin. I'm just gonna spread it for that. Don't need much. This is just to help it come out. That's all we're doing that for. too much extra there okay now we're gonna mix this
This is the terrible part, y'all. I cannot stand the feel of crackers. But I'm trying, y'all. Mix it really, really good. Incorporate everything. Get it all through there. I think that's good enough. And all we're going to do is put it in the muffin tin like this. Y'all, I got a several of these out because I have another five pounds I'm gonna do after I do this five pounds. So each one of these is a serving size, you guys. And what I will do is I will freeze them just like this. When I take them out of the freezer, I'll run it under hot water, the back of it. Just, just this part under hot water. And y'all, they just pop right out. Okay, you store them in a freezer bag, and that's it. When you get ready to cook them, you just put them back in the pan and cook them. You take them out frozen, put them in the pan. If you want to thaw them that way, you can before you cook them. You don't have to. You just cook them and cook them until they're done. Cook it on about 350, maybe 400. And that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that. Now, this will serve six people. Okay? If you were to make a loaf, you know, in a loaf pan, you're going to have leftovers. Or somebody's eating way too much food, which is not good for anybody. So, this is a win. You know what I mean? It'll make your food go a lot further if it's a case of wasting food out of a, a loaf pan. I like this method much better. You guys might like the other method. That's fine. But that's it for now, you guys. I want to talk to y'all later. Y'all have an awesome day. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe.